Hey, what's up everyone? This is take two of this video. I recorded this video earlier, but I had really bad technical difficulties that I'm not going to go into. So, we're back at it again. Here we go. First thing that I'm going to be talking about that I picked up this month was this bad boy right here. This is the Columbia Classics 4K Ultra HD Collection Volume 1. It comes with six of some of the greatest movies of all time, supposedly. I bought this completely off of reputation alone. Um, I know that there's a lot of movies in this set that are very well regarded. And there's apparently there are apparently some of the greatest 4K transfers of all time. And this is the only way you can get these movies in 4K. So I picked this one up for about a hundred bucks, thirty dollars off on this deal. So yeah, these are all those movies. I'm gonna get into those in like two seconds. Just let me get them out of here. So going in release order, we have Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. I don't know a whole lot about this movie, but it's apparently one of the best early earlier films. I think this was like 1939, I believe. So yeah, I can't wait to check this one out. It'll be interesting to see how black and white movies play in 4K. I've never, never seen anything like that before. Lawrence of Arabia. Everybody knows that this movie is one of the greatest of all time. I've yet to see it, and apparently this may actually have the best 4K transfer out of any film ever made. So this was one of the big deciding factors in me getting this set. Another one was Dr. Strangelove. As I have discussed before, Stanley Kubrick is my favorite film director of all time. And I gotta have his all of his movies in the best format possible. This is the only way to get Dr. Strangelove in 4K. So, yeah, really, really glad that I own this. I would have, maybe I'll pick up the Criterion edition of that film too, but I might not know that I own it in 4K. Gandhi, I've heard amazing things about this movie. Uh, we've talked about bit about this movie in history class a little bit. Uh, ben Kingsley is actually my dad's favorite actor, so I may try to get my dad to watch this movie with me someday. Who knows? Who knows? A League of Their Own. I hardly ever hear anything about this movie, if I'm being honest. As far as baseball movies go, I don't think this movie is mentioned, at least in the one conversations that I've had. Most people talk about stuff like The Sandlot or Field of Dreams or 42 Moneyball, but I rarely ever hear conversation about a league of their own. So I can't wait to check this one out. And the final film in this set is Jerry Maguire, one of Tom Cruise's best performances, supposedly. So, yeah. I really like the parody that was done with this movie in the Lego Batman movie, by the way. So I can't wait to check out Jerry Maguire as well. Moving on to everything else that I picked up this month, I picked up Weathering With You, the limited edition steelbook that I got at Best Buy. This is so far my favorite animated movie of 2020. Some people consider this to be a 2019 release. I consider it to be 2020 because that's when it was released in the United States. I feel like um, foreign cinema has won animation this year for sure. I think the best American animated movie to come out of this year was Onward, but this movie blows Onward out of the water. Look at this interior. I got my... Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> yeah, My movie ticket just fell out, too. So, Yep, if you don't know, I keep my movie tickets inside of all my Blu-rays. The little ones that I've seen in theaters, anyway. Another one that I have my movie ticket for is Children of the Sea. I reviewed this movie on this channel, and... If you want to know my thoughts on that, go check that out. It's actually getting quite a bit of traction compared to some of my other videos. But um, this movie is confusing as hell. It makes almost zero sense, but it is amazing to look at. And I got it for the sole purpose of, I know someday I'm going to be watching a movie with my friends and they're going to want to watch something that is really freaking trippy. And... Uh, this is the go-to for that. This is the go-to for that. If I want to just torture a friend and just blow their mind, but also stun them with how gorgeous it looks. So, yeah. I ended up picking it up. And now I cannot find it anywhere. 
at Walmart anyway. I mean, you can still find it online, but it's basically out of the stores now. I picked up The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo from Hamilton Book. Uh, as you know, I am watching all of David Fincher's movies leading up to the release of Mank, which is supposedly coming out this month, but we don't have a definite release date. This movie honestly kind of disappointed me. It's the only David Fincher movie that I feel like is violent and disturbing for the sake of being violent and disturbing. Um, it's still got amazing cinematography and direction and uh, acting as well. But yeah, overall, I think this one just left a bad taste in my mouth. And I feel like it's a bit overrated. But... I'm still going to keep it because I'm a big David Fincher completionist. I'm pretty sure the only one that I won't pick up is Alien 3 because that's basically not a Fincher movie. But, yeah, I actually still got to see Panic Room before I decide that. Yeah, that's the only Fincher movie I've left to watch. And the final thing that I picked up this month was Teen Titans, the complete series. I just barely got HBO Max. And I had never, ever seen this show before. I did not grow up on this show. But I started watching it, and I absolutely love it. I've heard that it has a very disappointing finale, but I honestly do not care. I've had such a great time watching this show. Amazing, amazing characters. Very fun world. And um, the movie and the Lost episode are actually not on HBO Max. So it's good that I have this Blu-ray here. Because that includes the movie as well, which I'm definitely going to be watching. There's also another movie starring this set of characters, but it's basically them and the Go version of them. I can't stand Teen Titans Go, so I'm not sure if I'm going to watch that one, but we'll see. Anyways, that's everything that I picked up in the month of September. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and sub, do whatever you gotta do to spread the love. Yeah. God. Uh, have a nice one.